Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. In our Mass today, we pray in a special way for streams, concert volunteers, and also pray for the protection of the unborn. You can add your private intention in this Mass and let us pray for those who ask us to keep them in our private prayers. We are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth. O ministers of my God, the house of your God is deprived of offerings and libations. Reclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. There like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of the distant generations. The word of the Lord. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made, in the snare they set. Their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world to justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be casted out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out the demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him, ask him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he, he attacks him, overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Then when an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, he finds it swept clean and put in order. Then he goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said something that is very striking today. It strikes me a lot. That if... Um, Beelzebub, if Satan is divided against itself, that it's not going to stand. And the same thing applies to everybody. If a home is divided against itself, it's not going to stand. If relationship is uh, divided against itself, it's not going to stand. If the institution is divided against itself, it's not going to stand. If a country is divided, it's not going to stand. So that's what Jesus is saying. Because the key thing is that the sign of the presence of the evil one is division. That's the sign of it. The sign of the presence of the evil one. Division. So if the evil one wants to destroy, you know, if you've heard that statement, divide and conquer. If the evil one wants to attack the family, it will just come in and so hatred. It is so hatred, and then you begin to fight, you begin to have squabble, disagreement, and so on. After some time, it grows into division. And then you begin to say, Oh my God, I think it's better for us to separate. I think it's better. So that's what happens to friends. That's what happens to marriages. That's what happens to countries. That's, it happens to every type of institution. And that is why it's good for us to come together. It's always good to come together and put up, get rid of any, anything, any kind of hatred or any type of gossip or any, anything that goes with the evil one, with the evil one. So let's ask God today to help us to have a, a united family, a family that is united, a family that is peaceful. Because if the devil wants to attack you, it will come into the family and get one person. 
Because once the family is divided, then the enemy will come and take over. So don't let that happen to you. Let us stand. The prophet called for prayer and fasting. May we live this day in the spirit of penance. We pray to the Lord. Lord May there be unity and peace among his people. We pray to the Lord. Because who wants us against division, may we work together to heal the divisions of our country and our world. We pray to the Lord. Now, as we remember the death of uh, Jesus, may all who have died, especially John and John uh, Villarreal and the, the people that we are remembering in a special way today, Share the glory of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our May not add your own personal intentions. God our Father, we place our needs before you. The needs that we have spoken aloud. The needs that remain unspoken but known to you. And the needs of all your people. Help us now to celebrate this Eucharist. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness of this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord God. But God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God. Your mighty Father, may the Lord accept this sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this secret way, by sending down your spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Bring this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our folk, Daniel, our Archbishop, and Ikala, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, and are married to be co heirs to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear people of God, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and grant us <coughs> graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from, your sin, from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Now, Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And in the name of this body and blood of Christ, bring eternal life to all who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. O Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life into the world, and by your holy body and blood, 
free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us depart from you. Oh, the Lamb of God, oh, Jesus who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worried that I should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever and ever. Go forth the masses and the Thank you. 